Hello everyone and welcome to the Educational Webinar Jam. This session will be delivered by Mr. Mahmoub Ibn Siraj, who is a PhD candidate on teaching English as a second language at the Faculty of Education, University Technology, Malaysia. He has also been working as an assistant professor at the Department of English, Sehlat International University in Bangladesh. He is particularly important, interested in how technology could help English language teaching. Mr. Siraj is a reviewer of some Q1 journals, and his research works have been published in Scopus Index journals. There will be a Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Please use the chat box to post your questions, and they will be answered at the end of the webinar. Now, without further ado, I'll request Mr. Siraj to enlighten you all with his expertise. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. Uh, actually, you are most welcome to my session. Uh, this session is uh, about strategies for research paper writing. Uh, basically, I will share my experience. Uh, I mean, from my zero level to write up, research paper write up. Uh, the, in between this journey, uh, what the things I have faced and what the things I need to study you know, for writing of a research paper. Okay. So today's uh, learning outcomes would be like this. Uh, before that, I again remind you that this is from zero to write up. Okay. Meantimes, the journey, your journey that will be started, thinking from uh, research paper writing to the write up. Okay. In between, what will we learn from uh, today's session? Basically, we will learn the definition of research. And after this definition and types of research paper, sourcing research paper, elements of research paper, research methodology, referencing, and strategies that we need to keep into our mind when we will write our research paper. Okay. After this, there will be QA session. Uh, if you have any questions, you may write into the chat box and we can discuss uh, them. Okay, first, research. If we divide this word, re plus search, okay. it means search, it means the things, the knowledge, the concepts, the ideas already existed in this world. Now, what will you do? You will do again search. Okay. And from your repeti repetition of search, the outcome will, <coughs> will be your original or your uh, uh, reviewing knowledge. Okay. I mean, first you have a sea, okay, a sea of knowledge. Into this knowledge, you just uh, dip into. For what? For what reason? For finding any gaps, okay, finding any limitations of previous research. Well, whenever you will get these limitations or research gap, then you will start your research. Okay, so research. I mean the things existing and within these things you will search okay this is actually research okay. so uh, the definition of research it is a systematic attempt to provide answers to questions research is a process of steps to collect and analyze uh, the information you will get on a topic particular topic basically uh, a research consists of doing these four things. Number one, it will investigate answer of a research question. You will try to solve a problem. Uh, you, it will expand existing knowledge and it will generate new knowledge. Okay. For doing these things, answering a research question, I will go back to V plus search where I have found that we have already existing knowledge. Okay, from this knowledge, you will try to get out uh, the answer of a research questions. Okay. Or you will try to solve a problem from this existing knowledge. If you don't find an uh, exact or scientific way to solve this problem, yeah, you will, what will you do? You will do your research. Another important thing is that the knowledge you have already uh, that we are going to search, okay. after searching, you extend the knowledge. Okay. 
And whenever you are working with different ideas, different concepts, okay, uh, you will find something which is missing. You will try to give or try to fill up this gap. Okay. So for doing these four things, what what should you do? What should you do? Okay. Firstly, you have to collect data. Okay. Then you have to organize your data, and after this, you will analyze your data. And from analyzing your data, you will get the answer of the research questions. You will get the solution of a problem. You can expand the existing knowledge, and you can generate new knowledge. All the things will depend on this uh, data. Okay. Data can be two types, primary data and secondary data. Okay. Primary data, you know that uh, this one is the outcome of clinical study, whereas uh, secondary data, it is the existing uh, it will come out from existing literature. Okay. After this, whenever you will understand that research, okay, research, it is a scientific way to get out answers of some questions or particular questions and giving solution to a particular problem and try to extend your knowledge and try to generate new knowledge. Okay. So whenever you have uh, got your ideas from data Okay, secondary or primary data, what will you do? You will write a paper. Okay, this paper is research paper. Okay, research paper means it is academic writing. Okay. Uh, it uh, presents your own thinking backed up by ideas and others' ideas and information. Okay. That means from the search that you have got the ideas, on these ideas, you will predict or you will give your opinion. Okay, in a research paper. This is the results of original research or an evaluation of research conducted by others. Okay. Original research means empirical research uh, that will come out from your field work data. And uh, research conducted by others, it means literature review. Okay. Another important thing is research paper is a living thing okay, which grows and changes. As the researcher explores, interprets, and evaluates, sources related to a specific topic. Okay. Actually, uh, today you have written a research paper. Okay. Uh, after one week, two weeks, or two months, two years, uh, you thought that this is a dead paper. Obviously not. Okay. After one century, someone can get idea from your uh, research paper. So that's why it is not dead. It is always living. Okay. Uh, primary and secondary sources, of the heart of a research paper. But I have already told that primary and secondary data, okay, or sources of the heart of a research paper. Research paper obviously consists of two things. One thing is your empirical data or your previous studies. Okay, okay what are the forms of a research papers? Okay, research paper can be def uh, defined or uh, is synonymous with some other terms like articles, reports, this is conference paper, book chapter. Okay, these are research paper. I think uh, you are clear about it. Research paper, the main thing is it is academic writing which consists of uh, uh, empirical data or literature review. Okay, research paper is also writing, essay is also writing. Okay. In my very beginning of research, okay, I could not distinguish between these two. What is essay and what is research paper? Okay. From this, I got some study. I have gone through some studies and I got to the differences. This one is like that. Essay paper writing is merely describe facts and events. But research paper, it will analyze or overview facts and events and findings, not merely description. Essay paper writing is simple description of a topic. Okay, you just describe an event okay, that you have attended last night. But uh, research paper means you will compare these events, you will make contrast. The event that you have attended last night and the event you have attended in the last year. Okay, you will make comparison okay, and contrast the previous research okay, with the current research. Okay. In the field of research, this means whenever you will take a topic, say for uh, assessment, language assessment, okay, when you get this 
uh, types of ideas, topic, you would write down a research paper, then you have to go through previous studies, or you have to go to the researchers we have, who have already done these types of research. Okay. And from this, you will get new directions. In the research paper, there must be recommendation, suggestion for future research. For essay paper writing, no particular format. Okay, but research paper, it follow particular format and methodology. Uh, paper writing, essay paper writing, it is write up on a specific topic, but research paper, it is the report of investigation of a research cell. Okay. Essay writing, uh, comparatively shorter than research paper, whereas research paper is longer than essay writing. Okay. Normally, essay paper writing published in book, Okay, textbook, okay, like this, newspaper, magazine, websites, etc. Whereas research papers normally published in journals, academic magazine, websites, conference proceedings, book, etc. Okay. Actually, so these are the distinction that I have gone through several studies and I have found uh, these are the distinction between essay paper and research paper. Normally I essay can be three, four, five pages. Okay. This paper is also like three, four, five pages, maybe we may have. Okay. But uh, in the very beginning, when I started my research, I did not uh, distinct uh, or distinguish between these two. Shall I right now? I think you are clear as I will. Okay, the kind uh, the types of research papers. Okay, what what are the kinds or how many kinds are research paper? Okay. Normally, two types of research paper, primary research. Or empirical paper or secondary research paper or literature paper. Okay. Research paper, uh, those consist of primary data, they are mainly original research papers. Okay. But literature review, you know that there are a lot of the literature review papers, okay, or types like systematic literature review, critical literature review, meta analysis literature review, and some other. Okay. But where there is the empirical study, this one is called original research. Okay, original research means uh, it reports quantitative or qualitative or mixed data from the study or for our study. Okay. Original research must consist of quantitative, qualitative or mixed data analysis. Systematic literature review, it's a systematic collecting evaluating and synthesizing qualitative and or qual quantitative, second, quantitative secondary data findings of existing literature. Okay. It has several steps. You, know, it, you need to go through several steps, uh, five or seven steps uh, for systematic literature. Meta-analysis paper, this is meta-analysis, uh, systematic literature review, uh, actually, it will discuss the facts, you know, describe the facts, compare and contrast the facts, ideas, variables, concepts, theories, okay. But meta-analysis means it will analyze or it will synthesize of qualitative or quantitative data from the previous studies. Okay. Main difference between meta-analysis and systematic literature review, systematic literature review will describe or will compare contrast or judging uh, several concepts or variables, but meta-analysis will, uh, it is a synthesis of the results okay, from qualitative, quantity of previous studies. Okay. Uh, it reveals quantitative estimation. There are some software, you can use meta-analysis to find out some impact factor. Okay, you can somehow find out some results uh, some results, quantitative uh, expression, okay. Critical review, okay. You know that critical review, it means you have some papers uh, and you have gone, you have some papers on particular topic and you have gone through these papers and you will criti criticize, okay. You will uh, find good side, bad side, a negative side or uh, the gaps they have mentioned uh, you will merely you will criticize okay, in the critical review paper. Okay, where you will get your papers? Okay, whenever you have uh, come up to this level, that means 
you know what is research, you know what is the research paper, what types of research papers are. Now you write up, you have a topic. Okay, now you will search previous studies on your topic. Okay, and where do you get this research paper? I will show some searching engine, okay, or searching database. Actually, uh, first one is you will ask your library, okay, your university library, okay, your university library has both online or offline database. And you will find there your research papers, uh, your topic related research papers. Then the very common and the first one is Google Scholar. Go, you will go to Google Scholar and you will uh, write your topic uh, and then you will find a lot of papers. Okay. After this Scopus, in some countries, uh, they don't have access to Scopus or even in some universities, they don't have. But if you have access to Scopus through your library, through your university website, uh, you can do Scopus. And in Scopus, I will show later you know, some screenshot, how can you search uh, research paper through Scopus. There's Science Direct, another online database, Web of Science, Focused, Springer, IEEE, Explore, Digital Library, Numeral, Research Gate, Taylor and Francis Online, Willy Online Library, etc. Okay, there are a lot of uh, search engine in Google or in your Chrome. Okay, this is, uh, I'll just give an example. Uh, it's uh, my university, UTM. Okay, how can I get uh, help from UTM, okay. uh, you, uh, whenever I log in into my UTM library uh, database, I have several things. One of them is e-sources. Okay. Normally, under e-sources, if the university has subscribed some online database, this there will be, under this, there will be the list. Okay. So look at this. Under UTM, it's just a screenshot. There are a lot of things within UTM. So look at, there are different types of sources of databases. Uh, the familiar on MRL, Engineering and Applied Science, IEEE Export Digital Library, Just or Lexis Malaysia, Onpetro, ProQuest, Dissertations, Lexis, Science Direct, Scopus, Stranger Link, Journal, Web of Science. Okay. Okay, whenever you will, okay. After this, there is a Google Scholar. You just merely uh, into this dialog box, whenever you will open through your Google Chrome, okay, or merely Google, uh, you will find this dialog box and you just put here the topic, okay. And you will search, inshallah you will get a lot of things. Okay, this is Scopus, the example of this Scopus usually if you don't have subscription within the <laughs> Scopus database, you can't find this. Merely you can't find this uh, page. Okay. Look at this. If you can access into a Scopus database, okay, you will find there is documents, authors, affiliations. Okay. I need documents, research paper. Okay. Into this search the bar, there will you will write your topic. Okay. And then go to the down there is search. Okay. Just click on search. Okay. This is the first thing. Another thing you can you may have advanced search. Look at this. There is advanced. It means advanced search. Whenever you will click on class, okay, then there will be another dialog box uh, with this. So for in the first row, you write down assessment okay and whenever you will go for advanced search you just click on plus one plus and there will be another dialog box and meantime there will be and or okay so assessment you can define this one as language assessment okay you can write down here language assessment and language then search so uh, the things you will get all the research paper which studied upon the language assessment. Okay, in this way you can uh, search 
through Scopus. There are many other ways you can search. This is ResearchGate. Okay, as a researcher, I think you might have this account, ResearchGate account. Okay, and you look at under your uh, profile picture, there is a bar, there is a writing, writing box. You will write down your topic and you will search. You will get a lot of research papers here. Yeah. Uh, there is a web of science. Web of science is also easy, but it is not always accessible because some countries or some universities, if they have, they may not have uh, some Skype, the uh, students will not get into it, okay. uh, similar to the Scopus. So here you will write your topic and there are the, whenever you will uh, click on topic, you will find there are different branches, okay, like arts, uh, like a science, computer science, psychological education or educational psychology, educational technology, you will find different types of option branches in which branch you are searching you just select this one here there is also advanced search option you can click here and there will be the plus and here also and or or you can choose any of any of or both okay and you can get your research paper okay okay now you know what is research you know uh, different types of research paper. Now uh, you are going to, uh, you have also studies or research papers from different databases. We may have 20 or 30 papers you have already. Okay. So right now, whenever you will get papers on your particular topic, then you think for writing a research paper. Okay. Then first thing, what are the elements of a research paper? I do need. It's all right. These are the elements of a research paper. Okay, you must have this. Okay, less or more. Some journals they have some other things. Okay, they may have uh, 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 details of abstraction in a box. Okay, under several headings. Okay. These are very few. Okay. But less or more, these are the structure of a research paper. You must have abstract. Under abstract, you have keywords, then introduction, after introduction, literature review. Then if you have a theoretical, uh, theoretical framework or theories, then you must have theories, okay? Because research paper is scientific paper and which will not be held without a theory, okay? Everywhere there is a theory implicitly or explicitly. After theory discussion, you have research objectives or purpose or questions. Okay, any of one you can write down. Under research questions, you have methodology. Methodology, okay, I will explain later, very shortly. Okay, after methodology, you might, might have data analysis, results or findings. Okay, and after findings, discussion. Okay, here is one point that in some journal, they ask you to write findings and discussion within one heading. Okay, it depends, but these are the basic. After this, you may have separate paragraph for recommendation or suggestions. Okay. And finally, conclusions and then references. Okay, these are the elements. Okay. When you have a topic, you know what types of research you are going to do. Okay. Actually, I'm talking, this is about empirical study. Okay, this is structure about empirical study or original research paper. Okay. The structure of a original research paper is look like. Literature review paper or review paper might have different, but they also have some like abstract keywords, introduction, uh, uh, there is elaboration of literature review. You may have uh, research questions. You must have methodology. Okay. And you have also discussion, findings and discussion. You may, may have also recommendation and suggestion from reviews. Less or more empirical and uh, research uh, uh, review papers 
or the sun. Okay, similar kinds of structures. Okay. So you have topic. You have uh, some research papers on your topic. You know right now what types of research you are going to conduct, and right now you know what are the elements of a research paper. Now, what the things, what the ideas, what the concept will be within these separate headings? I mean, under abstract, what will be keywords? What would be introduction? What what types of things will be introduction? So let's go to the next page. Okay, this one is abstract. How can I write your abstract? Okay, this one is also. Uh, write for your thesis, abstract of your thesis dissertation. First sentence will be topic introducing. If from first sentence, you will start describing or uh, introducing your topic. Then background of your research. Why do you, why did you do this research? Okay. Here you will uh, give the background. Okay. This was happening right now. There is nothing. Okay. So purpose of this study, after background, you put your purpose. You are going to investigate that. Okay. And then you have to write about your methodology. You will write down a sentence regarding your methodology and your uh, data collection tools, your samples. Okay. After this, you will write about your results findings within one sentence. Okay. And recommendations or implication. What is the output of your research? Okay. Uh, what the other researcher will do with your research? So you will, this, if you might have this information within your abstract, I think if your paper is submitted to a right journal, I mean, the journal's aims and your research paper's aims are the similar, then there will be no rejection, definitely. And the words limit 150 and 250, okay. Okay, uh, in introduction, uh, yeah, I have already introduced as a reviewer, okay, I have gone through many uh, international and national reviews. Okay, where well, I have found that in abstract, uh, these are not available. Okay, so I ask the researcher to put this information because abstract means abstract is a, a like a magnet. Okay, whenever you will go through your abstract, if you have all the information, then the reader will understand your paper is with or within his or her area. So he will go through it. After this keyword, keyword depends on journal requirements. Okay, some journals require four or even three. Some journals require a maximum seven keywords. Okay, what are the keywords? Keywords, okay, it's, um, it's like a searching word. Okay, say for, uh, I will search a topic. Uh, I will, uh, I may have, one word or two word for searching a topic. This one word and two word, you will find out from your research paper, you will find out these types of magnetic attraction. Those words might have attractions like a magnet, you put this one. What about say for uh, assessment? Hmm. Assessment is very common. Okay. Whenever you will, uh, go through, or you will go through this assessment. Whenever you will put assessment, and if your uh, research paper contains assessment work, then automatically go there. Okay. So, after this introduction, what are the things within introduction? First, introduction will give the background of your study, then, it will give the significance or importance of your study. You will discuss who will be benefited from your uh, research paper, and it also mentioning the hints of findings. Okay. You have going to do this research, this research might have these types of findings, okay. like this. 
These four things must have within your introduction. A literature review. A literature review, findings of previous studies related to your topic. Okay. Uh, you must have. If you have a wish to publish a good journal, I mean Q1, Q2, Q3, obviously your research paper, I mean your literature review, the paper you have included into your literature review must have come out from good database, not Google Scholar, only Google Scholar database. You must have articles from Scopus, you must have articles from SignRed, Web of Science, and these types of reputed database. Okay because it will have much more acceptance for your article to a journal. Then why do you conduct this study? Refer to previous study. Okay, why? Okay, so for previous study, have done this, this, that. Okay, now it's your turn. You want to extend the knowledge. You want to fill up the gap, this knowledge. You want to create a knowledge. Okay, these three things you are going to investigate. Then finally, literature review. In literature review, you must link up your study and previous study. Okay. You will stop your literature review making a connection. Otherwise, it will not be a good literature review. Okay. Then theoretical perspective. Uh, it, uh, in this uh, section, you will describe what the theories you have taken what are the variables from these theories you have taken? And why did you take this? <coughs> Sorry. Why did you take this and how did you use these variables of these theories? Okay. This is after this, then you will set your research objectives, purpose, questions. Okay. This is merely, you know what is your objective? What is your purpose? Okay. Some journals may have objectives and research questions. Some journals requires only research questions or only objectives or purpose. Okay. So this is the key things of your investigation. And now methodology part. Under methodology part in your paper, what the things you will mention? First, Describe your method, this method you are going to investigate or to implement for your study. Then sample with whom you did this research. Then you will mention the data collection tools like survey, interview, observation. Under this, uh, after this, data analysis process and software. Okay, what types of analysis you have gone through and what types of software you have used, if you have used any software. Then describe statistical process or describe coding process. Okay, statistical process for quantitative study or mixed method, coding process only for qualitative and mixed method. Okay, these are the methodology you must highlight these things. Okay, otherwise your people must have lack of something. Then data analysis. Okay, then data analysis, what will you do? You report the findings, such as statistical uh, analysis like mean, median, standard deviation, TTS, blah, 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 blah. Or textual reports for qualitative study. You will uh, just merely present open codes and agile codes. After this discussion, under this discussion, two important things. Okay, I found many journals which I have rejected due to the lack of proper discussion. Okay. Discussion, there might be two things, localization and globalization. Localization means you will compare and contrast your results into discussion. Okay. Why some items have uh, must, uh, mean value or median value? Okay. Or what items are highest? Okay. What are high items are low? Why they are low? Okay, why they are high, you will compare and contrast within your results. This one is called localization. First, you will present this one. Then you will start another paragraph or within this paragraph or within this localization or localized sentence where you have mentioned, there you may mention that this result is aligned to 
the previous study or uh, this this result is contrast to previous study okay this one globalization globalization means you will make compare and contrast your result with previous study okay the study you have mentioned in your literature review hmm. and finally recommend uh, recommendation or suggestion here you will defend your limited of the study or report further study based on your findings hmm. recommendation here there will be your limitations and there will be forecasting prediction of your findings from your findings what focus will be go through next okay conclusions right now conclusion and last one before reference the conclusion is here conclusion is merely the flashback of your study or your results limitation methodology theoretical perspectives in another word your abstract restatement of your abstract in conclusion the conclusion in conclusion there will be the restatement in another words or in other words of your abstract yeah. and uh, re retrospection of introduction the so two things it might be abstract uh, replica and it have also the focusing ideas that you have introduced into introduction okay two things there will be is the flashback of your studies all through entire things and another th thing is that your retrospection your reflection of your introduction into conclusion okay i just merely give the the basic idea about jesus methodology jesus methodology is quantitative qualitative mixed method and quantitative method uh, it's um, it's uh, deals with numerical result means number 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this okay uh, it has uh, the relationship between events or numbers okay quantitative the sampling technique here probable sampling technique okay uh, a probable sampling technique means there is a probability of getting chance of everyone to be your respondent okay. types of probable sampling technique like simple random sampling is just uh, say for you you, uh, you have 40 students uh, you just take those students a uh, uh, roll number or uh, id number ends with c okay so you can choose 6 16 26 36 okay n to number uh, so for you have 40 students this 40 students in total is called capital n this is population size of population and from this population you have got four students as a your respondent who whose student id ends with 6 6 16 26 36 okay this four students is called n unit okay. okay this is the after this systematic sampling okay it's also like a, a simple random you may choose any okay but systematic sampling you must have a complete list okay you when about simple random sampling here your audience your respondents are not uh, clear okay you don't know your respondents where well, you can do this systematic sampling you must know your population how many is to divide random sampling it's a split group you may split your class into different groups okay randomly uh, 40 students will be divided into 10 groups and each consists of four from this you will choose this one is called stratified and cluster random sampling means you have certain character say for your students uh, whose roll are 1 to 5 is one group who are 6 to 10 and they have another group uh, i mean according to your criteria you will divide your groups common terms of sampling 
and uh, capital N, population, total population, and sample, sample size, parameter, statistics, sampling error. Sampling error mean value of total population and mean value of sample population. Quantitative data uh, collection tools, these are the survey, test, pre-post test, experimental test, quantitative observation. Quantitative data analysis, uh, um, analysis or analytical processes, descriptive analysis, inferential analysis. Descriptive analysis merely frequency, percentage, mean, median. Inferential is normal distribution and non normal distribution. Normal distribution, symmetry of a distribution, more frequent data. And non normal distribution is t test, ANOVA, NANOVA, INCOVA regression. Okay. And this is the software with you. You can uh, you can go with your quantitative data analysis. This software are Excel, SPSS, Smart PLS, Excel Stat, Stata, CISA, Data plot, statist, statistics. Okay, these are the quantitative and qualitative research methodology. Qualitative research methodology means which research consists of textual description or textual data. Okay, not numerical, not one, two, three. Okay. Statistics, textual presentation, non numerical, largely words or image as a data collection. Description and analysis of words and for themes, in depth understanding of meaning, and subjective manner of analysis. Qualitative sampling techniques, mainly called non probable sampling. Your sample cannot be calculated. You cannot use any software for calculating your data, but you have to think about your saturation. Okay. Types of non probable sampling. This one is convenience sampling, purposive sampling, quota sampling. Convenience means you go, your convenient institutions, and you choose from there. Okay, so now is sampling, expert sampling. Actually, we have time limitation. Okay. And qualitative data collection instruments. This are interview, open-ended, observation journal documents and checklist. These are the qualitative data collection instruments. Qualitative data analysis technique. There are different techniques to analysis qualitative data like content analysis, narrative analysis, discourse analysis, grounded theory, conversational analysis, thematic analysis. Mainly thematic analysis, content analysis and grounded theory. These are very common. Qualitative software that uh, will help you to Analyze your qualitative data like NVivo, Atlas T, Quarkox, Max Quada, Web Coda. There are so many softwares for analyzing qualitative data. Okay. Mixed method is merely the mix of, of qualitative and quantitative. Here, both qualitative data and qualitative, uh, quantitative data will be gathered. Data collection instruments, just look at. Uh, look at these other instruments, survey questionnaire, this is quantitative, open-ended questions, qualitative, interview, qualitative, observation, qualitative, document or documentation, qualitative, pre-test, post-test, experiment, these are the quantitative. Okay, sometimes documentation can be also quantitative if you collect your document in number. And there is mixed method, mixed method means quantitative and qualitative instruments mix up. List of referencing software. Reference is whenever you have gathered your data, or you have collected your data, you have papers, and you, are, you start your writing. From where you will start? You will start from methodology. First, you will write down methodology of your paper. Okay, there are the different softwares Mendeley, Citation C, Jutaro, EndNode, RedCube, a lot of. Okay. So these are the my focusing points after this. Okay. Whenever you have known about what is research, what is research paper, and what types of research paper you are going to write, if, if you are going to write empirical study or, or original paper, what will you do? You have already known through, and what will you do for literature review? Okay. 
And whenever you know that what are the elements of a recess paper, you may have 12, um, uh, 10, eight common uh, headings uh, for your recess paper. Now, you write your paper. Whenever you have topic, topic related studies, your data, a qualitative or quantitative or mixed data, okay, now you set for your writing. Okay. And what will you do? In your writing, first you will write down, you will start your write down from methodology. When you will complete your methodology, then you will go to the results, findings. Okay. Whenever you stop findings, then you will go to the introduction, then you will go to literature review. Then after literature review, you will come back to the discussion. Okay. And from this, you will get recommendation or suggestion for further research. Okay. And after this, you may have conclusion, recap in recapture of your uh, whole or entire study into conclusion. Okay. These are the almost all the things that I have discussed here. You need to write a paper. Okay. So in the, for entire for entire research paper, uh, I will just uh, give you some ideas of how can you start your study and how what the things you will keep into your mind. First thing is social research is about answering research questions. Okay. May have, there are some students or researchers who have come from engineering. They may have different. Okay. But mainly for social research, in social science, we need to answer our research questions. These research questions will start with what, why, and how. Okay. These three types of research questions will be investigated. And what the things we will do, we will try to explore, describe, understand, explain, predict, intervention, evaluation and impact, assessment of my topic. In the background that I have already told that you will include purpose and reason behind the conduct of your study. Okay. And within your background, normally there is uh, no uh, uh, other headings for statement of the problem, but it will be within introduction or under literature review okay, at the end. Uh, you will choose a field, select a subject within that field. Okay. This is the most striking thing that whenever you think about a research, about a topic, say for you are talking, you, are, you want to investigate linguist uh, learning and teaching. It's a vast thing. You need to narrow down a miniature to make a miniature of your topic. Okay. Then you will find your sources from different sources, online or offline. Then make a list of references. Uh, you might have some studies that propose a working thesis. Uh, when you will propose, and within this proposal, you will take notes, paraphrase, summarize, quote, make an outline, prepare for referency. Okay, this is the foremost thing. The almost 80% uh, articles uh, is rejected merely for the sake of plagiarism. Okay, you must avoid plagiarism. How can you avoid this? You always try to write your notes in bullet points. First, you will, whenever you will go through a study or research paper, you just make down some notes. What are the concepts, what are the variables here? And later you just, in difference with that study, you will put into your literature review. After this, make sure that your notes are down to the bare minimum amount of the writing. Okay, I mean, uh, you, you cannot, uh, Take a sentence as a note. Okay. Your note will be minimum. One word or merely a phrase. Okay. Not close. Okay. Check your paper for plagiarism and modify it. Okay. Before submitting, you must uh, check your paper with uh, different subtitles like Turnitin. Okay. And you uh, give there, uh, submit there, and you will get your report. And according to your report, you will modify or change your plagiarism. Okay, that's all.
my highlighting methods. Okay. Right now, this is Q and A. So, I would like to request the monitor to take answer, uh, questions and we will try to find out this. Thank you, Mr. Siraj. We do have a few questions here. Um, one of the questions that we have is, could you please elaborate the difference between literature review and critical review? Okay. Literature review and critical review. Uh, obviously, there are distinct differences. Okay. Literature review is merely described the events, the concepts of the previous studies. Okay. But in critical review, it will criticize. It will compare among this, or it will make a contrast. Okay. This one will be absent in literature review. Literature review is a traditional approach. But critical review is not a traditional approach. It has a, a much more thoughtful things within this. I think you get my answer. Your answer. Thank you, Mr. Siraj. Um, we have another question regarding, I was towards the end of your presentation, and they were asking to explain what notes are. I think um, if what the notes are, okay. Notes mean when are, you are going to read or you are reading a paper, while you are reading a paper, during that time you may maintain a diary or you may uh, write down on the paper. I mean, uh, nowadays, uh, maximum researchers, they read with their screen. They, they use a PDF or they use uh, Mendeley or some other references software. You can highlight the line and you make a note. It means a concept, one concept. It can be a word, maximum a phrase, not close at the close. Okay. Thank you. We also have another question um, regarding journals, and they're asking if they accept Turnitin reports by the researchers. Actually, it depends on journal. Some journal asks for zero plagiarism, but some journal allow those have below 20%, but not more than 20%. Okay, your report, but the best thing is that if you try to keep it under 10%, okay, if it is under 10%, it must be accepted. Okay, thank you. I'll ask any presenters if they want to turn on their mics and ask any further questions. We have another question. Literature review could be large enough. Is there any rules that how much we need to write literature review? Uh, actually, nowadays, there is a trend in Q1, especially in Q1 journals. They normally ask for ask a researcher to keep their references within 20, not maximum 25. To my knowledge, uh, if you try to keep your references within 30, 25 to 30, I think it's good. Okay, not more than 30, if it is empirical study. Okay, but if it is a literature review, it must have over 50, maximum over 50, minimum. Great, thank you very much. I think there are no okay. further questions at this time. Well, appreciate your presentation. Thank you so much. Oh, I think we have okay. one more question. Uh, they're asking, how is theoretical framework different from conceptual framework? Uh, actually, <laughs> there will be another session need uh, to describe this one. But in a brief, theoretical framework means, so far you have uh, you have taken three variables or four variables. These variables must come out from a specific one, two, or three or more theories. You just, in a diagram, you will take these theories together and you will make an interactive diagram to make a connection 
among this variables. This one is theoretical framework. Theoretical means it will be directly directed by theories. But conceptual framework means with these four variables, what do you want? Okay, what will you do? What types of study you will do? You will also make a interactive diagram. You will make a interactive diagram within these four variables to give another, variable, uh, another framework. Main difference is the uh, framework, it is directly from theory, uh, theory, theories, but conceptual framework means it is your own framework. Okay. With these variables, what will you do? Or what to do you want? Okay. Just make an interactive diagram. Okay, thank you. There's also another question for articles, writing. How many references do we need? I have already told uh, the answer of these questions. Uh, 25 to 30, I think it is standard. Okay. And there's a final question here. Is there any difference in acceptance of the paper with or without that of a literature review title? Yeah, there are some journals where you, you will find that there is no literature review as a heading, but they include this literature review under introduction. Okay, some, some journals uh, requires that you don't need literature review separately. You can put this literature review under introduction. That's why you will not find in some journals, in some articles of some journals, literature review. I think you get my point. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, the session is now coming towards an end. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you and most welcome. We'll be posting a recording of this session on our website as well. It will be available by tomorrow for all those who are asking to view the presentation online. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.